Hi, this is Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell. Today the question I'm going to answer is, how do these regenerative cells know where to go? It's a very common question that we get, because if you were to undergo an intravenous, an IV infusion of a regenerative cell therapy with stem cells, growth factors, exosomes, secretomes, microRNA, you know, there's a lot in this uh, material that our centers use, then how does it know where to go if it's circulating around the body? How does it know where to deposit itself, you know, and go to work? Well, that research has been done at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland. And what they showed is that when we have a disease condition or conditions in our body, whether it's acute or chronic, those areas of the body give off inflammation. And that inflammation has signals in it, which I call cries for help. So basically, whether it's an arthritic knee or uh, a lung that has some COPD or a kidney fail that's failing, um, basically what you have are these cries for help in the various areas of the body in the inflammation that's being put off by those organs or tissue. So as the biologic is circulating through the bloodstream, it sees those cries for help, and it then deposits itself in those areas and then goes to work to help with the repair process. What that means is that your body is going to tell the biologic that it needs help and where to deposit itself. And what it also means is that numerous conditions and areas of the body can be helped at the same time with a regenerative procedure. So I hope that clears that up. Visit us today at r3stemcell.com. You can also call us at 844-GET-STEM. We'd be happy to get you in at a center close to you for a free consultation. Thank you.